Hey guys, I got something new to review that you guys might be interested in. You want to see? What is it? All right. What is it? I need a helper right here. <laughs> here we go, opening this up. See what it is. Ooh. Everybody else is already gonna know what it is that's watching this video. But how? Because I'm gonna label what it's called. What is it? A watch. Yep. For who? You! Hey guys, Sean from Sean's DIY and Reviews, and today we have a kid's watch that we're going to take a look at. So let's unbox this, see what it does. Alright, so here's the boxing. Nothing special on the box. It's got little animals on there. You can see the watch through it. This is a little bit of plastic. A little heart shape. A little barcode back there. And that's about it. Plastic on the top and the bottom to open up. We'll go ahead and open this up and take a look. So coming out of the box, you have a manual right here. You have the watch itself. You have a, looks like a proprietary cord. So that's interesting. I wonder if you can get more of these. So it's got two little pins right there and two little round dots right there. So it's a proprietary cord for charging into a USB. As it says right here, there's a camera there as well on the front. SIM card slot on the side. I have Verizon, so we're going to see if it works with it. Pulling it out of the package. Again, there's a camera right up there. The band seems to be of decent quality. Definitely not bad at all. Got a little speaker over here on the side. And just a little rubber. Kind of more plastic corners right there. Got a button over here. And seems to have only one button. It's definitely got some thickness to it, as you can see right there. On the back, you got a QR code as well as an IMEI, which is interesting. So we're going to peel the sticker off the front. And it's got a little phone looking button right there, but it doesn't seem to be something you can press. So from a functionality perspective, I tried this out a little bit and it shows a little phone button there, but that doesn't do anything. It's just a little picture of a green phone icon. And no matter how many times you touch it, it doesn't do anything. Everything goes from swipes, and it seems like the swipes pretty much, no matter which direction you swipe from, it's still gonna kind of bring you to the same uh, same menus. There's nothing, nothing different by doing that. So you can swipe in any direction. Here's the camera, so if you touch on that, it'll allow you to take a picture, and obviously I'm taking a picture from behind my camera right here. If you're in a mode, you gotta press the button to bring it back. If you wanted to look at the pictures that you've taken, then you go over here. So when it comes to camera, you just touch the little camera icon on the screen. I probably have larger hands than the average kid, but then from there, you press the button back, slide over to photo, and it only stores one photo. So you can delete it or send it. And then, you have a little game here, one game, there's talk, which would be, you need the SIM card in to make a phone call, obviously. Device info is right there. Dial. I found it pretty easy, even, even with adult hands, to type the numbers in. And it's interesting, the colors come out different on each number. Not that visible, seriously, but um, that's okay. I'm sure the kids with good eyes would have no problem seeing those numbers. You could also go back a little bit but again, this little guy on the screen doesn't do anything as far as that goes. It's not gonna dial, you'd have to hit the little green on the screen, not the bottom one. Although it does seem when you use this, it'll actually, it seems to work as a home button. Over on this side where the SIM card is, you'll see there's a little spot where a screw hole, it does come with the screwdriver to remove that. If you have an older kid, you know, probably doesn't make a difference but if you have a younger kid you're probably gonna be happy that you have the little hole there the little screw there so that the child can't take the sim card out so we'll go ahead and remove this screw real quick and keep in mind that it's gonna need a micro sim not a nano sim so if you have a new iPhone or a Samsung or any of the newest versions like a 20 17 18 19 this is not the sim so you can't take a sim out of your phone you would need the larger one, which is the one size up. So you'll probably have to go to your carrier to get that. This is what it looks like on a four-year-old's arm. 
to get a sense of the size. And here's what it looks like on an eight-year-old's arm, eight-year-old boy. So I'm about to tell you how you can win this watch, but first I'll do a real quick recap and then I'll tell you exactly how to do it. So essentially because it's 2G, you gotta make sure that the service that you have will do that. T-Mobile in the US seems to be the service that will uh, be able to do it. But uh, you know, again, if you're gonna buy this, make sure that you can use it on your carrier, find out what the fees and costs are because you can't change the time or really do much with it without that. Um, that's why I didn't go through the app because you know you can just download the app um, onto your phone if you want to. Um, so now here, this is how you can win this. So I'm putting this up on the, on the weekend. So it's either Friday or Saturday, depending on when I upload this. So for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you're gonna answer the first set of questions in the description and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you're gonna answer the second set of questions that are in the description. And uh, the reason why I did that is so that people don't just copy off of other people. And so, um, you know, I wanna make sure that you actually listen to this, you heard the questions, and you've obviously gone to the end so you can follow instructions. So you have to be a subscriber to the channel and you have to get the questions right. And when I'm saying the questions right, if you answered Friday, Saturday, Sunday's questions on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you, uh, you're not going to be a winner. So make sure you're answering the right questions at the right time. And I will randomly pick a winner and hopefully it's you. So uh, if you like tech and uh, DIY around the house type of projects, then definitely consider subscribing to this channel. Look forward to that. If you learned something here or you like the channel, definitely give it a thumbs up too. Um, and again, you're answering the questions in the comments section below and I'll pick a winner next weekend. Thanks.